All right, boys. I'm going to make a tutorial real quick on how to slaughter, and I mean slaughter, the unique bass out here in the Everglades, man. Got to get a license and stuff, though. One day. So, the Everglades aren't too difficult to, to dominate, literally. Just travel there. And once you get there, <coughs> you go over here to Lilypad channel. That is the key. Um, some people fish, I think this up here, whatever this one is, I think you can catch unis up there as well, but lily pet channel is where it's at, man. 100%. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. We interrupt this tutorial for a bomb in your local stream. Dude, my, my fucking boy, man. Hey, now I gotta reset the thing, man. Nah, let's just keep going, but thank you, brother. Holy, Jazzy. Jazzy. You're literally, you, do you realize, look at, okay, dude, all right, we gotta, we gotta pause the tutorial here for a second. You realize how close you are to godly status, man? Like, do you realize? Like, it's insane. It's, this is out of hand, man. It's every single stream, man. Out of, out, it's, it's, it's out of hand. It's unreal. But I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, man. Seriously, holy shit, every day, man. Like, it's, it's, dude, my boy, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it so very much. I really do, my man. Wow. You know where I'm heading? Dude. Well, you're going to be in this tutorial, man. Because uh, I'm not going to reset it. But I want to keep on it. And then... And it just keeps coming. Thank you, guys. Uh, we have a, a solid zero new viewers. Thank you, brother. Um, all right. They're trying to bomb this uh, tutorial for you guys. But we're going to keep going. Uh, I'm a little rattled here. So bear with me. But Lilypad channel, like I said, that's where it's at. Um, I think I already have the setup, my setup. So what I was using before, um, I, I, I ended up, this was on sale, the sport stuff. Long story short is I ended up liking the game enough that I was like, okay, yeah, I want to support the game. So I, I spent 20 bucks and got the sport pack or whatever. So I switched to this setup. But before this, I was using a jig winner um, rod with um, whatever the best reel was I could get at level 22, I think it was. I think I came out here at level 22, 20, 22, somewhere around there. Whatever the best spinning reel you can get and, and rod, just get that. Um, but the key, the key to success in this place, and I promise you, I have another video that you guys can see on my channel that uh, I, I, the same setup, I had all my friends do it, put it on, same time period. We literally caught four uniques. We, we were hooked up to four uniques at the same time. We literally all had unique bass, largemouth bass on the line at the same time we reeled them in at the same time it was insane this is insane i promise you if you want to get uni largemouth and non-stop trophies this is what you do um this right here this and if you look at the details um it's the three foot diver blue of course um but that's literally all you need i use floral you can probably use mono use whatever you want but the key again that crank three feet three out blue it's like 30 coins, but trust me, 30 coins well spent. What and the just, fuck? This, this dude, man. He's literally... Someone say godly. He's, he won't even let me do a, a proper tutorial for you guys. Dude! You're... <laughs> you guys, he just... The reason he said that, did somebody say godly? He literally just hit the godly tier, meaning... If you come to my Twitch channel and look, scroll down below, look at the uh, tier system for donos. Godly is literally the highest tier that you can get aside from the throne, like the number one spot. This dude just made it, man. This, insane. My fucking boy. Thank you, brother. Like, it's literally... You're making... You're, I'm getting hot, man. This is crazy. Thank you, dude. It's every... Dude, he, I can't even talk. Every single day, dude. And it's nonstop. Jazzy, my fucking... Thank you, brother. Seriously, I... Whew, I can't thank you enough, my man. Holy shit. I gotta, I gotta take, take it back down to the uh, tutorial level. Literally, dude, 
I'm trying to make a, a like a professional, really good tutorial, and I just I, this is what happens when you live stream. Still gonna be a tutorial, um, but wow, Jazzy, my my dude, man, holy crap, wow, un unreal, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I literally forgot where I was at. Uh. Oh, looks like there's a guy here. Okay, so yeah, you guys know the setup? You guys know the setup? The crank? Three feet, three out. Blue, 30 coins, worth it. Just make sure, you guys are going to want to make sure that your um, drag is set right. I would set it really, you don't want to lose them, especially at the start when you're a lower level. For me right now, it doesn't matter as much if I lose it because I can easily buy another one. But chances are, you're only going to be able to buy like one, maybe two, um, if you haven't spent any money into the game when you're around level 20-ish. So make sure, make sure, make sure. I promise you, if you lose this thing, it's the key to success out here. Um, so just set your drag real low, and and once you hook up into a really big fish, kind of inch it up and get into. I I would recommend not even getting into the red range. I would stay in the orange range, and then you don't have to really worry about breaking off. But uh, so yeah, now you guys know the key for the lure, and it seriously, it's one of the easiest things. This is one of the easiest uni hunts that you can do in the game that I found aside from like the trophy walleye or whatever um, in Emerald Lake. But, but yeah, then the only other real key thing you have to do here, change the time to nighttime. So you want to go to 9 p.m. That changes it to nighttime. Forward it. And, the, and another good thing about this is so, and I would highly recommend doing this if you want to farm unis. Um, so you can see now that I skipped it, I have to wait 40 minutes or whatever. Um, and at level 20, it didn't take me very long in game time to fill up my stringer. So I wanted to, to keep skipping to the next day. Um, so once you fill up your stringer, the good thing about any, any type of night nighttime fishing like this, 9 to 5, look at there's no cooldown period. So after you skip for your first time for one coin, after that, it's all free skips, man. That's why it's so enjoyable, so fast paced, so fun, and you can get so many uniques. At least that's what I feel. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. It's worth spending that one coin and make it make a long trip out of it. Like, just fill your stringer, skip to the next day, keep skipping, keep skipping. Thank you for the uh, the host. Every literally, they they just they they want to be in the tutorial. That's all right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah. The, the main things is have a decent setup so you, you can actually successfully reel them in. Um, the lure choice is the number one thing you need to absolutely have for this work and then changing to nighttime. Um, once you have those in your arsenal, literally you can see my buoy out there. That buoy is the general area I cast most of my time. If I don't get bit, I, I generally will cast no further than out here. And no further than out here. Sometimes I throw over here if I'm not catching anything for a long time over in this area. But this is the general area that you really, really want to work. Um, and I, I like to come out in this corner and cast because then it kind of comes across this area. And it for me, it seems to make my hookup a lot, lot more. Um, but you're going to have to see based on your rod and reel. Like I don't even remember what this setup is. I haven't used it in a while. Um, you're going to kind of want to say, oh, I guess I could, where I, where I was at, it told me, didn't it? So yeah, you can see I want to cast in front of the lilies as well. Otherwise, you're going to get snagged. So about there, that might go a little far. And if you do get snagged, no, that's pretty good. Um, if you do get snagged, obviously reel it in and keep doing it. You're going to probably snag a lot here because the weeds are, are pretty dense and, and getting used to that casting, it's, you're going to snag. But that's all right. Just keep, like I said, keep... Dude, these guys, man. Literally, I love you guys. But uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep it professional here, boys. Thank you, brother. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then the only other thing, the small little detail, um, which is important, is the presentation. And like I, like I said earlier, the this is actually one of the easiest, easiest uni hunts that you can do, or that I've found so far, because it's a crank, meaning you literally just slow reel it in, slow straight. Um, and if you're so if you have the right color right depth right time um it's literally just casting out and reeling in and the key for the the presentation in this is is real speed two real speed two slow straight 
and just keep going until you get bit. And I promise you, do this and you will see exactly what I mean. Um, and, and catching the unis and trophies. And I've noticed also, keep in mind, don't be discouraged if the first little bit when you get here, you don't get hooked up right away. Um, a lot of times for me, I, it starts around 930 in game. I've noticed that's when the bite starts to pick up a lot of the time. Sometimes you get bit right away, sometimes not. Um, again, it's kind of just different based on the RNG. But stick with what I told you and thank me later, boys. Zero, 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 zero.